All right, everyone. Welcome to Hyper Let's Play. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say this is a big ugh. An ugh way to start this stream, I tell you what. Uh, how very unfun. All right. We are back in Gone Home, though. We are going to uh, give this another go, see if we can finish this today. Um, I don't know how far we are through it. I imagine we're probably about halfway through the game. Um, still got to go to a couple locked doors and explore a little bit more of this second floor here. Um, but yeah, we can go keep going, checking out. Apologies for also ending uh, last stream rather abruptly. Um, it was a very weird situation in the house, but everything's fine, which is the most important thing. So also we did get a um, uh, controller support working again, which is great. Now we can do that. We can read things like this. So if we grab that, we can do this. Now, hopefully we can also use the thing where uh, we can see text better. All right, so let's see. Uh, I'm also, I'm, <laughs> you're gonna see me randomly zoom in a lot, I think on this game. Um, that is, I think mostly because control used up to um, that's interesting. Control used up for its map, so yeah, um, yeah. Okay, this works great. Oh, and press X to toggle text. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. You came home on such no short notice that they were around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing any more Sam. So this is like a super recent note then, um, because as we found out last stream, uh, Sam is developing a very unique friendship with one of her classmates. Um, Mom looks like she's not getting what she needs from dad anymore. So she may or may not have had an affair and dad may or may not have turned into an alcoholic because his books didn't sell. So yeah. It's great. Uh, let's open this door. Also, I guess one positive is of this one, you can't see me look to the left as much because this game is still really dark and I'm also dealing with a glare that's not on the stream preview, which is fine. All right, I uh, got some paintings here. Uh, was this a note? Was it... Oh yeah, this is... okay, it's a different note. All right. So yeah, this was, I guess, going to be my room when I came back, but you know, came back to nothing. Yep, there's all my stuff right there. Oh, how I love Misk. That was my favorite thing is Misk. Hey, there's a note. Hey, Sam, you were asking what my JROTC ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide, orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team, the army has brand branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I am a born adventurer. I'm, I am a born adventuress. Adve oh, adventuress. Okay. And no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Lonnie D. That is um, Sam's friend. Examine composition book. Uh, Samantha Greenbrier, Ghost Hunter Journal. Uh, Siding Journal, August 31st, 1994. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd, a faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said, hello. Not investigate. Probably was a furnace. September 9th, poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Moo. Also ghost milk. Um, October 9th, Melani said she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly began to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Ah, oh, that's why there was a pillow fort in that room. That was so long ago. What? Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbed messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar definitely here. October 28th, enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, bring any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic, possibly due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. By the door. 
pull the string. Anything in here? Not looking like we got anything in here. All right. Um, anything I can do around here? All right. Uh, let us venture on. So we have this is the guest room. We have one more door. Looks like there's one more door we can go through here on the third floor. It's this. There's also that. So. That switch. I get. There's a painting room. We know uh, the mom may have been getting into painting. Grab set. Heaven, heavens to Betsy, nothing can stop me. Uh, we are not going to play that because we don't know if it's DMC8 or not. Grab a bull. Nothing in it, so throw it over there. Hey, it's uh, the, that, that, that flower right there. Cool. Uh, lamp. Cool. Uh, there is another door right there. There's a drawer. I have a note. Halloween show, the misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costume. It's TG and Lounge. See you there, L. All right. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Okay. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound between two songs Lonnie leaned over and said how do you like your first show I was so happy I felt tears starting in my eyes and then she up and hugged me I think she could tell all right <clears throat> Uh, examine form. Performance evaluation uh, for Richard Petermic, Supervisor Janice Greenbrier. Oh, uh, this is uh, Ranger Rick. Hmm. Ranger P Patermac has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his exper expertise. Is it actually misspelled in the note? It's not. They, they, they messed it up in here. And dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conversation effort. I'm also going to get there. That's either. Conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. With this end, I will, formally be, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. I bet you did. I bet you did. I bet you did. All right. I bet you did. Um, oh, let's switch. Thank you. Um, lamp. I love lamp. There we go. This is the sewing room across from the sitting room. There's an armoire. Uh, anything over here? Yep. You can grab that lid. Same book. Uh, Opal LaRue Wildfire. He saved her from the raging flames and then things really heated up. So not gonna lie, that kind of looks like Carrie Elwes. A young Carrie Elwes on the cover there. But I digress. Uh, Open LaRue is one of the most distinctive writers. Opal LaRue is one of the most distinctive writers in our genre. A tour de force wildlife is a uniquely beautiful display of LaRue's talent. All right. Got some uh, some of the good stuff in there, eh, Mom? Yep. Yep. Okay, then. Next book. His healthy choices, skills for a healthy life. Uh, okay. Interesting. Good folder. 
Damn map. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage and it has Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping six. Wait, what? A secret passage marked on map. Press. Uh, okay. This game has that apparently. So that's a that's a Ren Fair outfit. Captain Allegra and her first mate. Your costume, my costume. L. Yeah, like I said uh, last time. There you go. So judging by that, uh, Lani has her costume. And this was supposed to be uh, Sam's. Yeah. So I guess we should go check out that secret passage, huh? So we're in the sitting room, so we have to go all... No, not all the way around. Let's go a little bit around. Then of course there's this. Sam's dark room do not enter if red lights are on. Red lights are on, but uh, we won't go in the attic yet. We're not going there yet. So we need to go into mom and dad's room where we actually started this entire stream. And then we go into the closet. So there's a secret passage in here. What? Can you do that beforehand or? Also, this is uh, this is super creepy. Um, the hibbity jibbity. Examine map. Ghost Hunters House Investigation Lock Hidden Compartments 3. Evidence of the supernatural discovered is zero. All right, so there's one. I don't know where that is. I do not recognize the wallpaper. Um, okay, but we found, so there's one in the library. It's just saw in the foyer. Interesting. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, hidden compartments marked on map. So, okay. Interesting. Um, all right, so we got more uh, these old timey clippings. Uh, crucifix. What? Okay. Totally okay. Um, let's go check out the other secret passage. How, how does that sound? Um, so we need to go into the hall. Is this one? Oh, so this isn't a secret passage, it's just a thing. So here's the Ouija board that they referenced. First, uh, what? Half of Sam's locker combo added to backpack. Oh, okay, cool. Read note. Hello, HLO, who are you? Oscar, what do you want to come back? All right. Items, so 
the first half of the combination of Sam's Locker. Interesting. So we do not have that yet, but we... On the second one, we can do it. Cool. Okay, I guess we need to go to the third floor and... Um, there's another panel down there. The first floor, sorry. And that hidden thing. Also, I'm just realizing there's a basement in this game. Cool. Wait, where am I going? Okay, this is the downstairs. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, so there's something. So I think I was going to say at one point was, can you actually find these things prior to discovering that they e exist? Like, could I have gra grabbed this at any point? Oh, combo script. Nice. We have that. Private story, heaven at the edge of the world. Private, do not read. The Green Glacier Part 2, Samantha Greenbrier, ninth grade. Allegra and her scouting party peer down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch behind the forest branches. Near feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. First mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Her party followed behind, moving quietly as the breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian upon her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, No! and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching. But it was too late. First mate screamed as he fell toward the water and splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's. Then the so shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood in the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all, in fact. But looked back at her with where the eyes, the face, the hair and hands and body of a woman, still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate. He, she spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain, the Amazonian queen said, she is one of us now, she is ours. Allegra do, drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and her crew readied their swords. Allegra, Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, that's the love of my life and you can't have her. There you go. Uh, I suppose we should go back up to the uh to her room now now that we have the um combo let's do combo do combo all right oh i thought he like automatically entered it for me or something um oh 51 okay I was remarkably close. Wait. Because this was how I, I gathered 0521. So I did, how did I do it? Um, oh, okay, so I did how many kicks there were in, in each line. Wow, so I almost completely guessed it straight on. But all right. Oh, five, oh, one. Hey, there's the basement key. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said, no, there was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say, but I couldn't find the words. 
I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> yep. There you go. Uh, the final confirmation. Um, and in 1994, not the uh, not not the most accepted thing in the world. There was nothing wrong added to back then. Oh, I guess they just meant the audio thing. Gosh, Sam. Wait, what? Uh oh, uh, oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that no that 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 totally makes sense. Yep. Okay. So Alright, I I guess. Let's try going back to the secret passage. I. Or actually, we do have another hidden thing we can go to. Another hidden panel. Maybe we can actually find the. Um, the uh, other thing there. All right. Yeah, that was. Um, that was very evident early on that that's what it was going to be. Um, and again, like, that's cool, but I just... 1994 was a different time. In some ways, in some other ways, and not so much, unfortunately. All right. Uh, all right so we can go through here. There is a panel over here, then, apparently. I, wait, what did I grab? What? Oh, I put it back. The Misfits plus special guest Maiden hit on Franklin Street. All right. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep Oops, on. Oops, we did so these out of order. And I shared it. Uh. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, Jeez. and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. So yeah, slightly out of order. And so... Yes. Uh, okay, so no, we're, we're gonna have to open it from the other set. Fair enough. So I guess technically you're supposed to do that, and then you're supposed to come get this one second, and that gives you the, the second floor, uh, the combination for a locker. That's technically the order you're supposed to do thing, but I didn't. So yeah. Oopsies. Oopsie doodles. All right, let's, uh, I guess let's go back down here. Really don't like that light bulb exploded.
You're literally on the other side. Oh my god. We should just keep going forward. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Now we go to the base. Right, because I think we've done everything now. All right, to the basement. Although we haven't gone to the third floor yet. Um, we'll go to the basement. Even though I really don't want to. These basements are terrifying. That's why I've never lived in a house with a basement. How about this light bulb doesn't explode? There's some cobwebs. Okay. Chips. Potato chips. All right. Soda. All right. Three ring binder, which again, we can't do anything with. We can't throw it over there. Let's grab it up. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your loving family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. Fancy man, white. Dear Mr. Soto, allow me to take this opportunity. Thank you and God for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate, following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciate the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and her refined air. Let's do it again, same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madame Samantha L. Greenbrier, Esquire. Well. Um, yeah. Don't, don't, uh, don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh, let's grab, there's another light switch over there. Oh, hey, there's a furnace. Awesome. Not creepy at all. Okay. Um, hey, this is the, my version of that thing we found in, uh, Samantha's room. Or in a closet at some point. Oh man, one of my old sex edits. Like, dude, they love this thing. Oh, this is the, oh, I uh, Sam did one of these too. Um, <laughs> I guess this is to show the difference between Caitlin and Sam. Um, there you go. Yep. Cool. Uh, ribbon. So it seems like Katie was like the air quotes good kid and Samantha tried to live up to being that and then kind of got again giant air quotes here lost along the way but okay very loud furnace any uh, light switches, lamps, anything? Uh, uh, it's just an upside down table. Okay. Okay, that lamp is on. Great, fantastic. Note a letter. Dear Samantha Greenbrier, we would like to congratulate you on your acceptance to the creative writing track of the Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars 1995 session. Based on your portfolio and academic record, we are also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer's program's tuition and fees. The attached documentation contains specifics regarding your schedule, optional secondary track sessions, and your dormitory assignment. We very much look forward to your participation in the summer program, and again, congratulations. Um, so this was after Thanksgiving. I'm so stupid sometimes. We'll let her. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. 
What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Oh boy. That is, um. Hmm. Oh boy. That is, um, not what you want to hear with your first, um, love of any sort, really. Especially not one that would be as necessarily confusing and not getting notification of up. Oh, that's a bummer. Here, let's, uh, let's pause the game real quick. Come over here to the interwebs. Hey, look, everybody, I was on Canva. Um, go to twitch.tv. Um, and go to... Creator dashboard? Stream manager, stream manager, yeah. Um... Go live notification. Huh, interesting. I mean, there should be a thing. Let's come watch, chat, or lurk. Blah, 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 blah. Um, now, granted, I, I don't know if that's actually gone out or not. I have no idea, but um, yeah, OK. Um, hmm. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah. Also, while I'm here, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That that's a that's a good one, mod. I I don't know. I mean, I've gotten some of yours late before, but I don't think I've ever just not got one, especially not this late. Um, Richard Greenbrier, PhD, University of Oregon. I yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. That is pretty, pretty weird. Oh, this is one of Granddad's books. Choice, complete understanding. Of what? I guess I'm, I'm supposed to probably know what that is. Because I am a smart person. Examine newspaper clipping, March, Monday, March 3rd, 1959. Boone County Register, Mason's Pharmacy, Soda Fountain, welcomes Boone County youngsters. The Cheerks? Cheeks. Uh. Ah, <laughs> lol. The cheeks of good fellow high school students were rosy today. Oh, let me. This is the 1959. The cheeks of good fellow high school students were rosy today. As each and every last one stepped up to the newly christened soda fountain at Oscar Mason's Pharmacy downtown. Following many months of renovations, including a brand new dispenser to mix fizzy water with any number of flavored syrups and a glass topped ice cream case from which to scoop, scoop, scoop for the heart's delight. Mr. Mason, long a well-loved fixture of Main Street, looked overjoyed to welcome the throng of young people. The first swept served up to the crowd was a chocolate sundae, tr blah, 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 blah. Uh, maybe I fell and refall. Yeah, that's fine. Try it. We'll get, a, we'll get a fun notification pop, so that's cool. One of dad's books with something stuck to it. Ew. Uh, dear Terrence, Thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a moment an indis occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible, um, sorry, um, Impossible dime store science fictional day day ex machina. I congratulate you on this on surviving the great ordeal that is publication. And rest assured that the readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily. But I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better with a father's love and encouragement. The 
because chat cam is on, nobody can see exactly what I'm doing right now to, to Mr. Uh, Richard Greenbrier, PhD. Definitely doesn't have to do with one finger being extended from my fist. Nope. Nope, not at all. Not at all. All right. Up. Up, up. Grab three ring binder. Grab three ring binder. Open folder. I think that's mom's citizen. Ooh. The United States of America. Uh, certificate of Naturalization on July 20th, 1972. The court having found that Janice Elizabeth Connolly Greenbrier, then residing at 1010 Fifth Avenue, Seattle, Washington, intends to reside permanently in the United States and had complied with the applicable provisions of such naturalization laws and was entitled to be admitted to citizenship. Thereupon ordered that such person be and she was admitted as a citizen of the United States. Testimony where the seal of the court is here under affixed this 20th of July in the year of our Lord, 1972. Interesting. I wonder where she came from. All right, uh, there's... That's an outlet. Uh, I don't even know where I am anymore. I, I, have, uh, I have gotten a bit flip turned upside down. Alright, I think we're okay, I think we're good, so now we can go one of these two places for storage. I guess we'll go here first. Pull the string. Alright, uh grab lid. What is that? Grab book. Mason's pharmacy. Okay. Uh, any of these lids we can go through? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, grab postcard. Hey, Sam, I'm writing to you from Multnomah Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone is running the school. And I don't know if anyone running the school has been Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as all get out in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh, no, here you come. Oh, that's from, oh, goodness. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Subtle. Uh, <laughs> it's the subtlety of a massive hammer being brought down. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even have to open the drawer for that one. Examine news here, we're clipping. Boone County Register, Friday, December 10, 1965. Mason's Pharmacy changed its hands, see? Shoppers of Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Mason's Pharmacy would change ownership for the first time since it opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled that the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for a song. When asked about the speculation that the deal had been signed for as little as one dollar, Mr. Samuel Ornstein, Oscar Mason's longtime assistant and now proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy, told the register, the specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason has taken sick. It's unavailable for comment. Mason's Pharmacy, still located on Main Street, but under new management. Okay. Um... This way, go somewhere else. Goes upstairs. Wait, this is Where am I going? Okay, I am lost. Okay, 
We're going back down here. First. So I'm not lost. I was uh, more just like very um, trying to figure out which way to go next. So let's try. Let's actually go here first. This room actually looks like newer in a weird way. Closed cabinet. There's nothing in there. Uh, read letter. Yolanda de Soto, Kara of Hector and Marie de Soto, Val Humber, Val de, de Aragon, La Sesión, Nezahol, Kyoto, Estada, Mexico, Mexico. Uh, all right, so this is, I don't know the date on it, but. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You love Mexico, I think, probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together, out there in the wilderness together, and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. Yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time together in the dark room. Tua more, Lonnie. X-ray specs. Okay. Soda can. Anything crumpled in there we can read? Nope. Okay. Grab pillow. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scout, set list, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate, self, Girl Scout's denial. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Denial is a hell of a drug. Uh, Samantha Greenbrier, one of our two HLF hard pendant custom engraving LNLS. Ah, that's the thing that we saw the advertisement for. Ah, let's grab this. Okay, there's a safe. And now we're. Oh my god. So yeah, there's like an entire section of the house we still haven't been to at all. Well then. Well then. Enter combination, we do not have that. Yep, no, I, I, I feel like there's two very different ways to go. Oh, it doesn't work. This is just like a whatever, I guess. There's nothing else really in here. It doesn't go anywhere else. So. It does have this. Grab scrap. Bring it out of here. Order this month. Two cases of brandy, two cases of rum, one barrel of whiskey. Governor remains very pleased with enforcement in Boone County. Please, this arrangement shall hold for some time. W.R. Like a prohibition thing? Interesting. All right, so that's that. Servants quarters. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to start going this way now. So maybe that's why there's secret passages because of uh, prohibition. They were like smuggling alcohol. 
the rum runners. They was. All right. Now we have this place. We can we can be. We're in this room right here. Um. Let's see. Ratmobile, the review, 326. Gurney's a plum fifth bone. Ooh, there's, there's mm, good stuff here. Sam and scrap. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it's so worth it. The girls. What? Oh, no, it bugged again. No, <laughs> the game glitched. I can't do the thing anymore. Okay. The psycho girl, the coolest stuff about the coolest stuff about being the psycho house girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know. They're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral costume skeletons and devils. Your leaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video, one girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Okay. Um I am not sure which way to go. letter uh samantha greenbrier um is there a date on this no dms greenbrier i appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter it showed initiative and was well written but does not change my mind on this matter while i understand that mr soto is a friend of yours the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity the fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial as to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. Wow, Principal Sheldon Grossman. Kind of a tool. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything zine. are all anti-authority. I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. More potato chips and sock. Um, let's see what we got over here. Examine comic book. Women outlaw. He's tougher than a wild Mustang. Grab Parker. Hey, cassette that we're not going to look at. We'll look, we'll look at it, but we're not going to play it because. Evans to Betsy terrorist. Okay. Can I get rid of it? Thank you. Uh, wipers. Captain A and Revolution Girl. Had enough. Let's see. Heard enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. Uh, heavens to Betsy Batmobile girls to the front. Examine Zine. Man, Zine is like such a such a 90s thing. Wow. Maybe you just want more cool zines or maybe even a mixtape. Alrighty. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna go this way real quick. Or am I? Maybe I'm not. <laughs> we are gonna we are gonna pull that straight up. Maybe I'm just gonna go this way first. Open panel into The hallway that you're locked from. Wait. What? 
Oh, wait a minute. This is, this is, there we go. Okay. Shortcut city. Um, okay. Saw something down there. Came and slip. Salon Josephine for Sam Greenbrier. Shampoo, set, color, perm, and nanny. Alrighty. Somebody want to look fancy. Read letter. Order of promotion, Bruce Pendleton. Dear head conservationist Greenbrier. Due to your exemplary management of Flintlock prescribed burn operation last year and services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we'd like to offer you the position of Regional Conservation Management Director responsible for operations throughout Northwestern Oregon. Your assistance would be sought to fill your previous position on site at the Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting will be at the Regional Management Building located at 128 Bullhorn Road, which will be much more convenient for your daily commute. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. We very much look forward to your reply. Signed, Bruce Pendleton. En Espanol, por favor. Read note. Hey Lonnie, sorry your mo my mom was such a bee last night. It's hardly ever around since her force is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it. And I'm sorry. Ha, ah, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a bat. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't bring you bring up the mom like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I mean serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, John, mm, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? <laughs> no. Yep. Sounds about right. Anything down here? Examine magazine. Froth. What? Froth. Okay. Anything around here? That's just now lit. Uh... Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, we uh, we officially got shortcut city now. All right. Filling out the map little by little. Examine stub. Earth, wind, and fire. Huh. Interesting. Because the kids don't seem like Earth, wind, and fire fans. Interesting. All right, okay, that's the thing. Suitcase. Read note. This skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico and it was like three bucks American. I love it. Merry Christmas, miss you. L, PS treasure and always. So I guess they went, she and her dad went to Mexico for Christmas. And then that was the, huh, that was the skull we threw back there. Like back in episode one. Uh, I guess let's go through here first. Or maybe it doesn't matter. Light switch. Can I get a light switch? Thank you. I also realized I know there's a setting that could have just like turned on all the lights for me, but eh, it's better. Examine pamphlet. Manual for Forest Research and Education to Calmock County Forest Service. Read note. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets to Earth, Wind and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in more fun than clearing a brush in the freezing rain, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I'm so sorry, Cece. I did not see your message, but oh, Rich, you're a piece of garbage. You're such garbage. Another one of the postcards I sent. Wait, we wait, do we have it again? Ah, oh, that's weird. 
Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. Uh, the Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. I'm guns to think about the turtles. Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should come too. Next up, Barcelona. Calm, Dad. Calm down, Dad. I will be gored by a bull. Probably. Love, Katie. Examine the zine. Such a cool zine, man. Open folder. Examine note. Ah. Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing. So the yeah, we are absolutely clear. Oh, God. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again. God. Oh, this feels so bad. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents out of school suspension. They didn't like the Z. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. Uh oh. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. Uh oh. They saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? Oh, no. And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad or disappointed or start crying or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Yeah, uh, not sure they're in a position to be lecturing anyone, but uh, that's cool. Yeah. None of this is important. Cool. Grab cr uncrumpled manuscript. The accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. Is there any light switch over here? I can do that light. No. All right. This is a knife. All right, let's uh, keep on going, I guess. That was the dining room. Now we're back in that hall. Yep. Here's the light switch right here. Nice. I turn on? No. All right. Looks like I guess going here. So you have the refrigerator. Read note. Sam's schedule working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 to 7. Saturday, 12 to 6. Mr. and Miss Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence in the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, and Mr. to Mr. Richmond Morse Patrimatch. Sunday, the 4th of June, 1995 at half past four. I don't really understand. I guess that's just flavor text. Amore pizza delivered in 40 minutes, guaranteed. Uh, here's the fridge. We gotta, we gotta throw everything out in case, in case there's something, some the other note jumped in here. We have to throw it all out. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm really bummed they don't like have any sound effects for things. Uh, open drawer. Oh yeah. Oh, banana. All right, whatever. Grab veggies. Um. Yeah, if it looks like it's hiding something, I'm gonna throw it. All right. Sayer's finest ice cream. This is my rebellious phase, mom and dad. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. Okay, no, I that in there. Cool. A dishwasher. You never know what could be a clue. Yeah. Uh, grab cutting board. Nope. I mean, they really left things kind of in disarray. So, not really my fault. I'm just making things worse. All right. Um, uh, have it up. Open sliding door. Coffee mugs, I guess. And then like regular mugs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here. Grab book. The accidental savior. I guess it's like his first book or something. Open drawer. More playing cards. Another cassette. Bratmobile, some special. Put on there. Okay. Um, read story. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were uh, on an adventure, but they went to the something part, of the whatever part of the woods. And it got dark. Danny said, are you scarred? So Samantha said, no, are you? They something and went more into the bad part. Then they went to a part that was never there before. And there was a ship, a pirate ship, us at the start of the thing on an ocean. Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you be the first mate. Daniel said, aye, aye, captain. And they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Yeah, not gonna lie, Daniel kind of seems like a real one. Unfortunately, he got the shaft a little bit. Is what it is. Uh, congratulations on your new superdition. Dear Regional Conser Conservation Director Greenbrier, I have received your formal acceptance letter. I wrote to congratulate you on your new position. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest. We very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk at the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. I wonder if that was then to save her marriage? Maybe. June. Anniversary trip, Rick's wedding. Can't make out. Send. Can't make it send regrets. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact dates. Kari shed pickup basement. Charity junk pickup basement. Uh, dentist for Sam. Forest loop trail hike event. Church potluck scalp potatoes. Cushing Elementary public. 
area cleanup. So, did, is this... Then why would the house be, like, so screwed up? Like, it legit looks like nobody's lived in here for a while. Yeah, brand fiber. I actually look, dude. Oh, this actually makes me want cereal. Unfortunate. We just went to the grocery store today. So I guess that ain't happening. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Soda. There's the dustpan. OK. Uh, I guess there's nothing really else in here. All right. That's the kitchen. So uh, at the Mo, there is one place left to go. We got down here. I said this one from Barcelona. Okay. Grab loose panel. Why is there a loose panel? Read crumpled notes. A going away show for Lonnie. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. And she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Well, I sent this one from Barcelona. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I have had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and sa Sam, I think you would like the gaudy architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. I'll. It'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. I've only been half paying attention. What is this thing about? Um, this is about. So we came home. We are uh, Katie. And we came home to our family's house and it's just kind of empty and disheveled. From a, I guess we spent a year abroad. And uh, yeah, we are f we are finding out how this family apparently completely unraveled while I was in Europe. So yeah, fun times. Fun times are being had, I'd say. Um, can you flush the toilet? And uh, yeah. Uh, examine magazine, home cook magazine, risotto. So where are they all at? They had to, I, I don't know. That's a, so Sam, Sam's ran away or Sam was going to run away. Um, <laughs> yeah, risotto. I love it. Pizza on a weeknight? Yes. <laughs> who is Sam? Sam is our younger sister who, um, I believe uh, she just uh, finished uh, high school. Um, not seeing anything really in here. All right. That is weird. Okay, which one is the girlfriend of Lonnie or something? That's Sam. That is, that is Sam. Sam and Lonnie were dating. And then Sam had to go off uh, because she was in JROTC. She joined the army. 
after high school. And uh, that's not great for a relationship, I'll tell you what. All right, let's see, we got detergent. Everything down here, cleansing powder. Amazing. Uh, open washer. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, so Kate is finding out now about how her younger sister was dating a girl and then went to the army and the fan Bambo fell apart because they don't like the face. That's part of it. Uh, it also seems like her dad was a science fiction writer and... Oh, there's a button. The slit. Ooh, I don't know if I want to say that. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can say that on a family friendly broadcast. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, the dad seems like he took to the drinking because he, um, there everyone, here. I'm not gonna say it, it's just there. Um, the dad, uh, yes, thank you. My amazing moderator, everyone, Cosmic Cadence. Um, the dad may have taken a drink in because his uh, sci-fi series after two books was basically canceled. Um, and then the wife may or may not have had an affair with um, with a ranger at her forestry park. Yeah. I'm obnoxious. Cosmic Kings. Copyright 2021. All right, any light switches in here? Um, some windows. Um, this is like a greenhouse. Oh goodness, so basically she spends a year about, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Not great, I'll tell you that for free. All right. Um, but there are secret passages in the house. So that's cool. Open your else. We got to find a combination for a... Uh, of... Uh, let's go vault. Yeah, vault. Strong Pines, a couple's counseling retreat. <gasps> Oh, so yeah, the dad totally found out about the affair and. I mean, are you surprised for dad as a sci fi writer? No, nah, I guess not. So I yeah, that anniversary trip was a counseling trip. Oh, boy. Grab book. What's the book? The a Accidental Pariah. A message from a wait. Can I open it now? I want to see the notes. The accidental savior. So is the accidental pariah going to be the third book, or was the third book? A message from our future. Say the president wants to within 24 hours. There'll be another attempt. And the lines of communication are down. The system is down. The system is down. The system is down. Grab manuscript. The accidental human. Oh, this was, I guess, going to be his third story. Read letter. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Uh, thank you uh, very much for sen sending along copies of the new editions. Cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought out a, on a wave of inspiration. Oh, OK. Resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I'm grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My thanks and regards, Terrence L. Greenbrier. So, things start to look up for the dad at least. And I guess, they're trying couples counseling, so maybe cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since Sean Russell heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement, the days where he mattered. So when the familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No, the life you save this time will be your own. 
ดันดันดันครับเจอไหมครับอินทรีสต์ Examine map. Where will we do it? Where, where we'll do it? Midnight, June 5th, final preparations are complete. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Alrighty. Uh, let's go check out the attic first, then. Because I don't know if the thing under the stairs is, um, Wait. Crap. Oh no. Oh no. Sag. This is why all games need a run button. Alright, so. Secret door. Okay, there's a secret door in the foyer. Okay. All right. Cool. So, yeah, still, still hasn't explained really why the house has been left in such disarray. Um, I guess we can also look uh, real quick. Now that we're starting to get a better handle on dates, um, June sixth. So, yeah, I guess we would have come back like as her parents were. Um, um, on their retreat, so there's the panel. Oop. Ah. All right. So we'll go there in a minute. Let's go back to the third floor and check it out. All right. Oh, it's locked, so he could have done it anyway. It, it, it legitimately did not matter. Okay. Well, oops. Then I guess we're just going to go back downstairs. All right. Cool. I'm glad I opened the door, at least. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's just like a little room under the stairs. Hey, add a key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Uh, well.
Um, they were they were trying to. They thought that the dead person from the, the former owner of the house um, was like a, a ghost, and they were trying to summon him. I I I don't think that's what happened, but eh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Go to the attic. I imagine we're about at the end of the game too. So. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna really trip if uh, if Sam is actually up here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that ten warriors. Skeleton ball. Turn the amp off. All right. All right. Sam and drawing. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Oh my God, Katie, I, I fell asleep in the attic and Lonnie in my old spot and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't, she couldn't think of anything but me and us and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find- Uh, Lonnie did. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Well, I guess we know why she's not here. Oh, I apologize if I said that incorrectly then. Um, so that is one thing we'll go. We'll go down. I know it's going to be kind of arduous because we got to go all the way down and then back up. There's no batch travel. But um, yeah, no, I know, I know. We're not, we're not leaving. We're going to come back to it. But there is something I found weird and doesn't really seem yet to have been explained. But I remembered it when she mentioned the voicemail on the machine. And the second one is like... Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Oh. Oh, now it makes sense. Okay, so the first two calls. We're Lonnie, and the third one is us. Okay. I I assume they're all from the same person, and I really didn't understand that second one. But now here we are. Now we're back in the attic. We're all good. We're we're Gucci. We're Gucci. Eyeballs. Grab bottle. Yep. Yeah, this, this is fine. Turn lamp on. Um. Hey, there we 
there's the thingy. Oh, we got drawers. Drawers on drawers on drawers. Master photographer. Photographic paper. That face. Yep. More photo paper. All right. All righty. Letters to Katie. Uh, Katie, I, I'm so I have lost sorry control. that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back. Wait, what about the vault? I had to do what I did. No! And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, but Sam. Why is the house trashed? I don't understand. Um, yeah, this is like also the one time where I'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So mom and dad, I guess, are they're like about to come home from the, the retreat. And yeah, Sam is going to go to sail the morning. Also, I really hope this doesn't get the NCA. Uh, well, I got two Sarahs through the voices. Featuring the music of Heavens to Betsy, Bradmobile, The Youngins, original score by Chris Oops. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, cool. Okay, we're just back here. Excellent. All right. Um, so here's my question. I'm actually going to look up real quick if we can actually um, open that vault we found. Because I did click on it, and it does give you an option for a combination. So... Um, gone home vault. Uh... Also on a I scrap of paper found on the floor after opening the secret door into the guest room. Okay. So let's go to the guest room. Alright, so the guest room was Here. Wait, this isn't. Um. Hello. Where is this scrap of paper? This bookshelf is not like they're real. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. uh, uh. Is there anything? And this is this is the guest room. 
100%. So... Wait, secret door into the guest room? Yeah, no, no, we did. But so there's a secret door to the guest room? Like, uh, let me, let me grab that. Probably the bookshop. Yeah. My question is, how do we get there? Like, what even connects to it? Let's see. Like, is it on? Um, I mean, this room connects to it, as does, I guess, the sitting room. I guess this is the sitting room. Uh, there's a ladder on the map. What's that for? Um, well, maybe, maybe you're honest. Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, let's, yeah, let's check that out again, I guess. So that would be... Here's that secret thing. But yeah, what is that? What is that pointing? Like, do I have to pull a sconce or something? But yeah, you're right. Like, that is probably downstairs. Um, let's see. Oh, two guest room. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, let's let's go back downstairs. Let's go back downstairs. Maybe maybe you write in all this. Maybe maybe my mod's gonna be helpful and obnoxious all in one go. <laughs> good call, good call. All right, so all right, we were here. Yeah, and then so this. Over here, did we just never go this? I don't think we ever actually ended up going this way. Oh crap. Oh yeah, we just never did this. We got sidetracked. And there it is, yep. 1963. Wow. Huh. All right, now to remember where this vault is. I think it's in the basement bookshelves man bookshelves <laughs> what what is your prize uh, i don't know if i want a present well you we got to think about what that's going to be i guess all right one, nine, six. Oof. All right. Read letter. Return to sender. Oscar Mason, Mary Greenbrier. Dear sister, I write what shall be my last appeal to go unanswered one way or another. I feel a prisoner is on an island with no jailer, no human soul for commune, only my one mind examining itself endlessly, endlessly searching for relief. In the years since transgression, I have sought no absolution, only bare forgiveness. In good faith, I have removed myself from all temptation, 
sacrifice to prove my commitment however I can imagine. Since Mother's passing, I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin to be treated as human again, to breathe the air of human spirit once more. By grace, even a wretch like me could be saved, but I do not expect it. If no response is received, I shall henceforth accept my sentence and one day simply cease to be. With a brother's love always, Oscar Mason. Well, that's fine. Morphine, great. Yeah, that's, um, hmm. Uh, Bileron. Oil of clove. I just want to see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I can't take that letter out. Hey, it's a but. Dude, I think that okay, so this dude had a morphine problem. That's what it is. That's what it was. Because, you know. Alright. Well. I guess that's pretty much that. You should have yeah, you did. That's not great. That is not great. Um, I guess we've pretty much hit everything then. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, wow, I didn't see this. Terry, age 12, Thanksgiving, 1963. That's our dad. All right, well. Um, so, uh, yeah, the one other thing I want to see, and I want to see if it's still like this. We're going to go back up to the first floor. Somehow. Uh, is this way? Yeah, OK, cool. First work. All right. So I'm going to go into the office. Yeah, here's our family. Look at our lovely family. Look at our amazing, amazing family. That just straight up burned to the ground when I left. All right, so we're going to go in here. Wait, oh, there's... Wait a minute. I didn't do this either. Well, crap. <laughs> okay. Um. Keys. Filing cabinet. Written on a folder at library. All right, so let's go to the library. So I did see what the combination is, but I want to actually like get it for myself too. All right, so it is somewhere in the library. Also, this this will make no sense forever. What what is this? Why is this crackling with tension? Don't understand. Is that it? Right there. Uh, the accidental. Da -da 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 -da. 
here. That's definitely something, but it's not exactly what we're looking for here. Um, yeah, it's probably not in there. Um, uh, um, Uh, la, 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 la. Holy crap. Okay, I just never read this. Okay. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and values of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everyone will be happy. Friend Kurtwood, Reviews Editor. 0451, okay. Wow. All right. So what's in here? Dear Mr. Mason, please find and enclose your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for interesting our firm with this important matter. Will and Testament of Oscar Mason. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. One, I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. Two, I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors, living or dead. Three, I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed including the dwelling and surrounding areas located at Harbor Hill, as well as any and all personnel, property, and money accounts to my nephew Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then and in such event, the request to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will this 13 day of August, 1973. I guess that's just the written version of it. Okay. All right. I, I, I guess that's it. Let me check one more time, I guess. And see if there's anything else I completely missed. Uh... Huh. I don't know. I'm using it. Cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, so how many journals do we have? Did we get every journal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nope, we missed four. Okay. Which one did we miss? Um, all right, so we got to go back to the basement from this way, it looks like. We are we are gonna we are gonna one hundred percent this game. I I believe in us. I believe we only gotta find four journals. This should not take too long. All right, go back down to the basement, and there is a pink thing somewhere. 
right? Oh. Whoops. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. All right. Uh, I'm guessing we're looking for number 15. Uh, ship date I can sing. All right. Okay, so we gotta go back to the first floor. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So now we gotta find a couch. I think it's gonna be the one back here. Hmm, all right. I guess this will fill in a few of the gaps that we kind of found. All right, so here's a couch. Open folder on the table beside the couch. Close the folder. Oh. Call Daniel. Daniel says he's coming over to get his game back. Oh. Inside edition, investigative team visits camp who specialists help adolescents. Oh boy. Katie, it, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us and what would happen if they did. You know dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. Alrighty. Um, okay, so apparently I missed like an entire room now I'm starting to think. Um, walk through the kitchen, enter the door to the garage. Did I don't remember a garage. Yeah, I just missed a complete room. Well, there you go. That's that should make these last two pretty easy. Did I miss a. Oh my god! How did I miss this door? Uh. Yeah. That'll do it. Woof. That's a big woofy wooffertons. There's book the accidental pariah. Read pages. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a miracle that it finds you at all. You know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we are not the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimensions is what you might call a specialist publishing house. The traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged in bibliophiles type of out there, mass market shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. My God, that's a run on sentence. <clears throat> We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago. Unearthing, yeah. <laughs> Beep, that's what she said. Uh, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like timeless works such as N.N. Best Men's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller and Emil Krieger's off-the-band Venusian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. 
Don Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that modern suburban America deserves. It is our mission to bring him to life. We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded it a decade ago. <laughs> we want you to supply a new foreword for the books to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah, be produced by Unknown Dimensions as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off, Kaz. Yeah, oh, so many. Medish Kaczynski, publisher, Unknown Dimensions, in New York. All right, but this is nuts. So this explains who Kaz is and how his work got there. All right, read note. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend. Oh, we really should have gone in here. Your mother will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd to 7th. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Oh. Never trust a contractor. $40 on the table. Order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. All right, then. Um... Uh, let's see what we got. Name tag, Sam. Ask me about clown combos. Do combos. Grab, read crumpled note. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have to run the whole house till you leave. Imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defy your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, you are gross. Never change. Sam. All right, so what are we missing here? Um, there's a bicycle with a hat hanging off that. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. That she's really going to be... gone. Just gone. Gone. Home. Anyway. Um, all right. So now we have, I believe, the last journal to get. Yep. We have one more, and it may be, in fact, the most important journal in this game. All right. So let's 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 it's very complex. We're going to we're going to go through it step by step together. Um, so we have located the blue recycling bin on the far wall. OK. We're going to um, pick a can, stand near the doorway, look for a purple ball. Um, sitting on top of your rafter along the ceiling. Um, oh, there it is. Now we're going to throw this at it. <clears throat> Might actually be a little easier if we uh, do it for this side. Maybe. Or can't we see it from this side? Ooh, I don't know. Ah, oh, maybe we can't see it from this side. Let's try this. How dare you? Hey, here we go. That is some precise precision. All right, uh, so now we have this this ball. We're gonna go upstairs to Sam's room. Uh, which actually has to go on the ground. Open the door. Let's 
So now we need to go to Sam's room. Sam's room was on the second floor. Yeah. Where are we going? All right, let's go. Like I said, this is without a doubt the the most important um, of all of all 24 journal entries. So I'm glad I'm glad we have ended up going to back to get this one. All right, now we are going right here. Okay, there's there's Sam's room, and we're gonna put this on the ground. We're going to close the door. Going to pick that back up. Oh, dunk, yes. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. 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 I am so glad we had cat camera on for this. I'm so glad. Oh, that was great. That is amazing. That's all 24. Oh, 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 mittens. You were the you were the true hero of this story. All right, let's see. Um, is there anything else we need to look through here? Um, let's see. Um. All right, so I don't think we can actually do achievements in this game, but we'll try to do them. Um, okay, so we got four things to do here. Um, so, and this is actually something. Oh, oops. All right, so we're going to go. Back down, sir. I, I'm so glad that in both Control and this game, one of the last things we end up doing is just something that's super cat, super cats. Um, is it back out here? Yeah, hey, there it is. Yep. The good Christian duck. Come on, good Christian duck. Let's go. Uh, that was that was worth it. That's worth it so much. <laughs> That's worth this game not having a run button. All right. We go up here. And let's find a place for you, ducky. Up oh, right over here. There you go, Christmas duck. Good job. Good old Christmas duck. Nothing beats that. All right, cool. We did that. Like I said, I don't think we have extra achievements, but it's fine. Um, let's see. This one, we got to go to the guest room. I don't think we can really do this, but we can kind of try to do it. So enter the guest room and open these. Uh, where's the guest room? This one. Okay. Open the side closet, turn on the light inside the closet and locate a small button in the upper rightmost corner of the ceiling. Oh. Oh. Cool. Okay. 
So that's that's how we could have actually gotten even this one. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Neat. All right. Um, during the intuitive, you was. Oh, okay. So you just. Let's see. Okay, and that one's just turning on every faucet. No, nah, I'm good. I'm good, especially if you don't actually get anything from it. Um, is there anything else then? Um, wait, um, Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, okay, so basically there was just an article about, like, the alternate ending is if you never, if you never figure out that uh, Sam gets, uh, if that Lonnie asks Sam to go with her, the implication is that uh, Sam actually kills herself and that's why that's why she's gone that's what the note at the end means so yeah i guess so uh let's see is there anything else really to be done or are we pretty much through this game Oh, that's cool. So here, I'll uh, I'll bring this over. So apparently on the Nintendo Switch version, there is actual, because we found this and a couple of the other SNES games. Um, but hey, they, they actually got them uh, versions of the real games. Well, that's cool. Good for them. Uh, anything else, I guess, over here? Cool. Yeah, we got the journals. OK, yeah, I guess we're done. I guess we're actually then kind of done with gone home. We have we have gone home. So let's uh, let's do the the uh, ending one more time. And um, we can let the entire outro sequence play this time, I guess. And I'll just mute my game audio. Where is the edit? Uh, it's back here, I guess. Um, and we'll call it we'll call it for the day. All right, let's. Climb slowly back up here. All right. Go through. And... Read letters to Katie. Do not read if you're not Katie. Katie, <laughs> I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. Yeah, that doesn't read great if um, you uh, <laughs> don't find out that she's actually going to be with Lonnie. It's not great. Um, all right. Um, so yeah, we'll just mute this audio. Actually, you know what we can do? Now it's a party. <laughs> Super serious ending, and then we just jam out. Ah, uh, I think it's just deserved after the meow meow ending. Well, once again, um, uh, pretzel music is legit amazing. I love it. There are a lot of great choices out there for uh, streaming 
appropriate music, but uh, yeah, this is this is a really good one. So very appreciative of them. But yeah, this this has been Gone Home. Um, a little tense in a few moments. There's a few moments uh, kind of like happened in Super Liminal, actually, where uh, the, I thought the game might be going a slightly different direction, um, but it didn't. They brought it back. Um, but yeah, very. Uh, I guess it's hard to say if everybody gets a good ending. Like Katie's Katie comes home to her family ripped asunder. Um, the parents may be OK, may not be OK. Um, Sam is gone for and no one knows how long. Um, yeah, they're the cats, the true stars. Yeah. Well done, y'all. Well done. Uh, but yeah. So I guess maybe maybe the biggest loser in all this is Katie because she took a gap year. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for making it gone home, people. Thank you for making it. All right. Are we just, are we just going back to the title screen? Ooh, maybe not. There you go. Sam and Lonnie together five ever because it's more than forever. Like if you cry every time. Yeah, that's it. That's gone home. Um, so yeah. That is that is the game in completion. I, I legitimately don't think there's anything else for it to do. Um, yeah, there are those other achievements, but I don't believe we can get achievements in this version anyway, so it's kind of whatever, and the things to do them were kind of silly. So, like, the Christmas duck one was okay, but the rest were whatever. Um, so that is going to do it. Let's go to, uh... Oh, I realize chatting is going to be a little weird. Chatting is going to be a little weird. Let's get, uh, let's get Cat Cam back up here. I'll turn off that. Yeah, Cat Cam! The true winner of the day. Um, wow, what, an, what a fun ending. So, yeah. This, this was an interesting game, and uh, I'm glad I got to play it. We've played through now Dear Esther and Gone Home, uh, a couple of really good walking simulators. Now, with this done, we will be playing something new, obviously, next time we start streaming. Um, and I believe it will be a little more action packed than Dear Esther and Gone Home. Uh, if you'd like to know what that is and exactly when I'll be streaming again, you can follow me right here on Twitch uh, at Hybrid Let's Play, and you can uh, get that notification, hopefully, as long as it's working. Um, with exactly when I'm going live. You can also follow me on my socials, Hybrid Let's Play 1 on Twitter, Hybrid Let's Play it on Instagram, and you will uh, get notifications there as well. Uh, I try to post there when I'm going live, as well as when they're available for video on demand. So, uh, and speaking of video on demand, whether you're catching this later on demand or you're here looking in the chat now, for five minutes, the entire stream doesn't matter. I truly appreciate you checking me out here on the channel. Um, so with that, that is going to do it for Gone Home and this edition of Hybrid Let's Play. Until next time, everyone, please stay safe, get vaccinated. If you haven't, keep masking up and be good to each other. I am Hybrid, and I will catch you next time. Take control and take care.